I am so guilty of thinking this guy was just showing off some dance moves. He's not dancing. He's stuck. When electricity flows through your body, it overrides your brain signals and forces your muscles to contract. That's why his arms and body are clenching up. So when you get electrocuted, can you actually let go of the thing that's shocking you? That depends on a thing called the let go current. That's the maximum current where you can still voluntarily release your grip. So how much current does it take to trap your muscles like that? In the UK, electricity from the sockets runs at 50 hertz. In the US, it's slightly higher, 60 hertz. But that's the worst frequency range when it comes to let go current. Because at these frequencies, it only takes a current above 9 milliamps to make your muscles lock up. So why do we still use these frequencies? Annoyingly, they also happen to be the most efficient frequencies for transmitting power across the grid. So it's a bit of a compromise. 